Chael Sonnen runs into Hamzat Chemaev. All right, guys, I've been telling you for a while, Hazmat Chemaev can't get into the U.S. It's some kind of a visa issue. I don't know what's going on, but these rumors are true. And I ran into a guy that says he's got some info on this. So you're saying Hazmat can get here? Uh, I think so. He can get here to Las Vegas? Yeah, I think so. What, what do, do you, you think? think? Can we see? Hos <laughs> can Hazmat Chemaev get to Las Vegas? Now I'm here, brother. It's nice to everybody. <laughs> what is the guys? Yeah, I don't know. I, it's one of those things. We'll never know. Nate Diaz recently had some harsh words for Logan Paul. In a recent interview, Logan said that he wants to see his brother Jake fight Nate. On Twitter, Nate replied saying, Logan, how about I beat your ass instead for doing that to your brother? Last week, Colby Covington said that Israel Adesanya is not a well-rounded fighter. Colby says that he knows he could take Izzy down and drown him. Dana White reveals what Colby Covington would have to do to earn a fight with Izzy. Dana said, I mean, Colby would have to go up and beat Cannoneer or Whitaker or somebody like that to be even in the discussion for a fight with Adesanya. Adesanya is a world champion. I don't know how you jump from not beating Usman twice to Israel Adesanya, you know? You think he should be able to jump up a weight class to take on the champion when he didn't beat the champion twice in his own weight class? Dana also gave his opinions on the potential boxing match between Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury. Dana said it's a really bad idea for Francis. A really bad idea. On Ngannou's punching power, he said so did Deontay Wilder. He had that one-punch knockout power too. More details have come out on the Cain Velasquez situation. If you're not caught up on this story so far, I suggest you go watch our video from yesterday and the video the day before that. Kane is now facing six charges following his arrest on Monday. In a criminal complaint acquired by MMA Junkie, Velasquez has been charged with attempted murder, one count, shooting at a motor vehicle or aircraft, one count, assault with a firearm, three counts, assault with a deadly weapon, three counts, willfully discharging a firearm from a vehicle, one count, and carrying a loaded firearm with intent to commit a felony, one count. If found guilty of attempted murder, Velasquez faces a minimum of 20 years and up to life in prison. He faces additional time if found guilty of other counts. In the police report, submitted by Detective Joel Martinez, Harry Goulart, who's 43 years old, was recently charged with molesting a close relative of Velasquez and released from jail last Friday. Velasquez had employed Patricia Goulart, Harry's mother, as a daycare worker for the past two years. Martinez said that the investigation showed the police arrived around 3.14 p.m. to the scene of the shooting, which was reported to have taken place at multiple locations. When police arrived, they saw a Chevy Silverado, three people were inside the vehicle, including Patricia Goulart, Harry Goulart, and a man wounded by a gunfire, Paul Bender, who was taken to a nearby hospital. The police investigation revealed that Velasquez rammed his Ford F-250 into the side of the Silverado in front of witnesses. He then followed the Silverado and fired two shots, one of which struck Bender in the arm. Five casings total were found at the scene. Velasquez was later identified by police as the shooter. Velasquez was arrested without incident and a 40 caliber semi-automatic handgun was found in his vehicle. Two casings and ammunition were found in the vehicle. The Santa Clara County District Attorney Jeff Rosen said, the sad tragedy is that Mr. Velasquez chose to take the law into his own hands, endangering the public and everyone in the truck. This act of violence also causes more pain and suffering to his family. Since our video yesterday, even more of the MMA community has spoke up for Kane. His former rival Junior Dos Santos tweeted this photo. Habib Nurmagomedov tweeted, You are the man, Kane. We love you and we always stay with you. Hashtag we are AKA. And Israel Adesanya tweeted out Kane's mugshot. He wrote, P.S. If you want shit done right, do it yourself. Hashtag free Kane. Colby Covington says that he plans to drag out the fight with Jorge Masvidal and not finish him quick. Colby says that he wants to make him suffer. Speaking to TMZ, Colby said, I see a lot of pain. I'm going to inflict so much pain on Jorge Masvidal. He's not going to be the same person ever again. He keeps talking about a baptism. There's not going to be a baptism. It's going to be a funeral. It's Jorge Masvidal's career ending funeral. It's going to be violent and I'm not going to finish it quick. I could easily finish it quick because I do it all the time behind closed doors when we used to train, but this one, I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to make him suffer and it'll probably be the first time in UFC history you see a guy in a main event just verbally tap out and say he can't take no more of a beating. Following Jamal Hill knocking out Johnny Walker in the first round on the Believe You Me podcast, Anthony Smith told Michael Bisping that he would be open to fighting Jamal Hill. This week on the Believe You Me podcast, both Anthony Smith and Jamal Hill were on together. Here's the clip of them discussing how it's actually difficult to prepare for Johnny Walker, not due to the fact that he's very skilled, but more so because he's so unpredictable. Be sure to check out the full podcast with Bisping, Smith, and Hill. Links in the description. 
<laughs> Listen, man. Obviously, we're in the same weight class, so I, I, I've, I've, we've come across Johnny Walker and, and and had that name on the table and sat with the coaches in the room and broke that dude down. And and kind of our assessment of him has always been, he's probably the least skilled, but one of the most difficult guys to fight because he's just unpredictable. You know what I mean? He does, there's no way to really, yeah. There's really no one to, no way to game plan for him. He's big. He's strong. I don't know. Like, how do you guys prepare for that? It was pretty much what you said. I remember, <clears throat> I remember last week whenever you uh, you talked about it. You pretty much said it. Uh, you pretty much hit it on the head. Let him get his crazy shit out of the way early on, and then just let I me mean, kind of sit in. You can't, you can't do spinning, jumping, cat jumping attacks. No matter how many kicks you like, though, you can't do that shit forever. You know what I mean? Especially not how you would need to to keep me off of you. So, yeah, it was pretty much just let him, let him, let him, let him throw his stuff out there, and eventually get in and make it a fight a guy like johnny like he doesn't really use his length and his physical gifts that much anyways he did he did though he did though this time if you notice whenever uh whenever i tried to come and close the distance on him whenever he was dipping out he was using he was using the jab long to keep me from actually trying to cut him off i think he, i think he is getting better as he is just it's just a process in our video from last week, we showed the clip of John McCarthy on the Weighing In podcast saying that Islam Makachev would have a hard time taking Bobby Green down. Here's Big John's reaction after Islam defeated Bobby via TKO in round one. Going into this, I said, Islam's going to win the fight. I didn't have any doubts about that. But I did think that Bobby could make it through the first round. I did. And he did. But and I and I'm looking. It's like there's no excuses. Like Islam is just that good, and we we know how good he is. But you know, I said that you know he was gonna have a hard time you know getting the takedown, especially in the open, going to his legs. He never even tried it. That was smart. Pushed from the fence, then dropped down into his legs. Beautiful takedown, and dominant from that point. And I heard people again criticizing Herb for stopping the fight. It wasn't gonna change. No. Nothing was gonna change there. Okay. Bobby wasn't moving. It was over. Islam, checkmate, done. Beautiful win. And he's he's put himself in that position where, yeah, you're going to have, you know, Charles fighting uh, Justin, but the, whoever wins that fight, they got a monster coming after him in Makachev. So. And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post future ones. Here are the three top comments from last video. These comments are in reference to the Cain Velasquez situation. The first one from The Eagle Has Landed says molesting 100 times is not a mistake. That's pure intent to harm. Gross. Cain exercised his rights to defend his children. Respect. The second one's from Peter Griffin. It says one of the greatest was protecting his child. Heartbreaking. Pray for Cain. And the final one's from Warrior Spirit. It says much love to the Cormier family and the Velasquez family. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured on the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. If you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen to get caught up. And make sure to go subscribe to our second channel where we post our exclusive MMA interviews.